have a chance to tell the story about my friend, Addie Barkin. He's been an activist and an organizer all of his life. With us today is Addie Barkin. I can't do Addie's story justice. I will let him tell it. After Carl was born, we felt like we had reached the mountaintop. Say hi. And then, out of the clear blue sky, we were struck by lightning. I was diagnosed with ALS today. The knowledge that I was dying was terrible. But dealing with my insurance company was even worse. I wanted to spend every moment I had left with Rachel and Carl. But then Congress came after our health care. I couldn't stay quiet any longer. My next guest made headlines when he confronted a Republican senator on an airplane. This is your moment to be American hero. All right, ready to rumble. We decided to start a movement. To urge people to stand up, confront the elected officials. All right, I'm going to knock on your door. Did you just get out of jail? Are you going to keep protesting on Monday? Yeah. What do we want? Health care. I am willing to give my last breath to save our democracy. What are you willing to give? Liz, I'm having trouble breathing. I just think we have to stop. Our time on this earth is the most precious resource we have. <laughs> Movement building allows me to transcend my body. And that's the beauty of democracy, that together we can be more than our individual selves. The paradox of my situation is, the weaker I get, the louder I become.